The bridge is over. Ah, oh, man. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Bye bye. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Hey, hey. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Bye bye. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. You see me coming. A record that was an answer to MC Shan because there was a, a group form under the name 2316 or something like that. And the name of the song is called Success is the Word. That was on Sleeping Bag Records. And it was presented to Mr. Magic, rest in peace. He dissed not only the record, but he also dissed the group. So now, MC Shan, who come under the behalf of Marley Ma, part of the Juice Crew, had came out with a song called The Bridge. You love to hear the story again and again of how it all got started way back when. The monument is right in your face. They didn't actually say hip hop started in Queens, but they were saying in their own terms, the place to be. The members of 2316 that made success is the word, they went and got signed to Rock Candy Records and formed themselves at Boogie Down Production. We talking about Scott LaRock, rest in peace, and KRS-One. When they heard the bridge and they see this affiliation with uh, Magic, they said, oh, we're going after them. So they went in the studio and recorded South Bronx. In return, MC Shan came with a record answer to South Bronx called Kill That Noise. And that's when they went ahead and presented and made this song called The Bridge Is Over. Ooh, what's the matter with your MC Marley Ma? Don't you know that he's out of touch? What's the matter with your DJ MC Shan? And, and, and. On the wheels are still Marlin suck. I was building a relation with Boogie Down Productions. I was friends with Scott LaRock from before because we knew each other for a long period of time. They told me they were going to go up in the studio, Power Play in Queens. Power Play is not too far from the location of Queens Bridge Projects. They say, Red, we want you to come to the studio. We want you to do that slogan that you known for that year. And everybody know me for doing it in a long, drawn out way. When I came on in, I did it. And at one take, boom, right there. Then they put out the record, and that really caused a stir. Hey, 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 hey. The minute when after I finished playing that, everybody talked about it. And the track was clever because it had the Caribbean elements in it. The lyrics that KRS1 was saying, he was going after them, was, was the kind of dominating at that time. And then actually buried the Juice Crew, because Juice Crew made history. Even though they was on the competitive team, because Magic was on one station, I was on another station. If Marley made some good songs, I'm gonna play it. One thing got nothing to do with the other. I mean, I always try to keep my ear tuned to what was going on. I mean, that's my job, as to not entertain, but also introduce and educate. The day when I play, first played, South Bronx, and then follow up with the bridges over. I think I kept it authentic for what hip hop was always a part of. The heydays of when people were trying to see who the best MC, who the best DJs, who the best break dancers. I brought that MC element to radio to show how you could continue the competition. And it was for the fun though. The whole, the whole thing was fun. It was all on the microphone, all about the microphone. It's all about, you know, the lyrics, you know, uh, who sound better, and who they were saying in the street terms, who demolished who. You know, that's what it was. I say, the bridge is over, the bridge is over. Bye -bye. Hey, hey. The bridge is over, the bridge is over. Hey, hey, hey. The bridge is over, the bridge is over. Bye -bye. Hey, hey, hey. The bridge is over, the bridge is over. You see me coming in, he dance with the flipper sense. Down with the sound called BDP. If you want to join a crew, well, you must see me. You can't sound like Shan or the one Molly. Because Shan and Molly Marl and my rhyming like the gay. Yeah, yeah. Picking up the mic, man, them don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah. Saying hip hop started out in Queensbridge. Saying lines like that, man, you know them can't.